Okay guys, let's dive into some stock market technical analysis. It's been kind of a grindy float recently. We're in holiday trading. Uh, you know, it seems like there's really just not a whole lot going on besides kind of just that that float, that that kind of very slow grind higher. So um, we'll, we'll take a look at that. Let's get right into these charts. Drop me a thumbs up guys if you find value. As I go along, if, you, if you're interested in joining the private member group, I give additional trade ideas, additional market insights, pretty much almost every day I'm posting into that private member group. Link in the description of this video. Uh, so check that out if you're interested in additional trade ideas. Triple Qs, all right, so here's what I'm watching today and really what I've been watching all week and for a while now on Triple Qs. If you look, we've got kind of, this is the daily chart and you can see we basically got support, support, and that's it. We've got a daily uptrend. So that is intact. There's no change there. There's no sell signal on that daily uptrend. Now, if I go down to the hourly chart, things look a little bit differently. So I think we're probably going to get a pullback today or maybe sometime closing out the week. Let's look at the hourly. Okay, on the hourly chart here, this is triple Qs. And then I also want to point out the futures. Um, you'll see here, now this is pretty much this grind that we've been in since December 7th, all right? It's it's really just been this grind of just, you know, low float, grind higher, all right? Support, support, and we're just starting to break it now. Now again, this is an hourly, so we need to see that hourly close below this trend line. Uh, to help us, you know, to help indicate a sell signal. If we get that, we're probably going to see a pullback down to this that trend line that I showed on the daily chart, and that would be a drop from where we're at now, maybe of about percent and a half, something like that. So that's what I'd be looking for. And then if I also go over to the futures, oh, and then sorry guys, to jump, let me go back to the triple Qs. You'll also see we do have negative divergence on the hourly right here. All right, so. I think we're gonna get that that drop of about a percent and a half or so relatively soon. And then if I go over to the futures, NASDAQ futures, you can see on this one, very uh, similar chart, support, 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 support. Lots of just reactions. We've just been kind of grinding higher on pretty low volume. Negative divergence on the hourly. And we did break, all right? So you can see, we boom, that's a sell signal break and back test that's objective to short actually the futures on the break or objective to short on the back test uh, and then it looks like you know we've got some support right in here uh, you can see um, on that one and again this is really short-term stuff so if you're not interested in you know short-term trading or anything like that then uh, you know just pass but uh, you can see here also on the hourly, there's support, support, several reactions right there. It's about, where do I have it marked? Nine, uh, 16, 964 or so. Uh, and then you break that. That That's a break of support if you break it. And then down we should go. Um, so again, objective on the break, objective on the back test, and objective on when you break the next level of support. So that's where I think we're heading right now. Uh, we're heading down here and then we'll see if we break. And I'll show you guys this. This is my trading platform, Lightspeed Trader. Um, this is the one minute chart on Triple Qs. And you can see this is that bid, that float. So you can see I got a line marked right here. And if I roll in, you can see we're just starting to break that right there, that trend line. It, it's held lots of reactions along that trend line that I have marked out. So we're just starting to break. So again, I, I think in the short term, there's probably a short trade on triple Qs. Uh, and, but again, going back to that larger daily time frame, um, yeah, there, there we still have the, that uptrend line on the daily chart. Uh, I had a subscriber and a private member ask me to cover the home builders and specifically DHI. So we can look at this DHI, all right? On the daily chart, we have a very steep, almost parabolic uptrend on DHI. I don't have any divergence right now on the daily chart. So I've got relatively strong momentum and I have strong uh, price action. So I don't see a short here. In, in general, it's just a, it's just continuing to go higher. Now it's extremely overbought. Most of these are very overbought. If I look at the RSI, this thing got up to right here, 89.50, which was the high. And if I roll back and kind of look at where, you know, the last time it was that overbought, was right here back in November of 2017 was it got a slightly 
you know, slightly more overbought on the RSI. And if we roll out and look at kind of where the price action was at, and this is what it feels like where we're at right now, guys. If I roll out and look, um, you can see we got, this is that price action. It, to me, it feels like we're in this kind of topping, grinding higher area. We don't have any divergence yet. Um, so could go higher, of course. Um, and But, you know, the risk is definitely... This, you know, to be long, you can stay long, but in general, I wouldn't want to put new money to work or take a new long trade uh, because it feels like we're kind of in this area somewhere right in there. Can't say we're at the exact high. I have no sell signals. I can't, you know, there's nothing telling me that it's going to go down now. So it can continue to kind of grind higher, but that's what it looks like to me. All right, so that's uh, that's what I see there on this DHI. And then if you look at the home builders in general, they're, they're very similar looking. Let me kind of roll back over. You can see here we're really high. We have no divergence um, and we're pretty overbought. The RSI on this one is all the way, it went all the way to about 90. And if I roll out and look at historical uh, you know, highs in the RSI, I, I can't find, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's basically, it looks like it's at an all-time high, very close to that, um, in, in overbought, all right? So this thing, XHB is overbought to the extremes. Uh, usually when you get extremes, one end or the other, whether it's overbought, oversold, but you see the extremes, and this, that's exactly what this is. It's usually indicating the end of a move, um, but again, no sell signals. So nothing I want to short now. I'm on the lookout for sell signals, but I, don't, I just there's no, I don't see any indication that we're done, uh, kind of topping. So could keep could continue higher. And when I kind of scan through these uh, magnificent seven stocks on the daily chart, just broad you know broad analysis, we still have negative divergence. Here it is. Amazon, negative divergence, new higher high in price, uh, lower high in momentum. Uh, Google, popping today, but still a divergent high. You can see it's just extending that divergence. So we continue to diverge. Uh, so I think that this little pop today will get sold into. Microsoft, uh, Microsoft is, you know, basically kind of flatline divergence. So you have higher high in price here, but momentum is kind of topping out about that level. Um, so flatline divergence on that one. Meta is clearly diverging. Lower highs, lower lows. That's divergent high. Uh, Apple. Apple has slightly higher highs and lower momentum. And you can see even in the short term right there, momentum is kind of dropping off while price is grinding higher. So negative divergence on that one. NVIDIA, NVIDIA, big, pretty extended negative divergence. Uh, and we are just yesterday made a new divergent high. So we're kind of popping and grinding. It looks like topping action to me, guys. Across the board in these MAG7, everything looks like it's topping action, although there's really no sell signals. So it doesn't mean that we're done topping all right i think we can continue to pop uh you can see i mean the gains are very minimal right now in the triple q's it's just it's just like half a percent three tenths of a percent each day in a day out is what we're saying so we're kind of just topping is what it looks like so i need in general i'm not taking any positions i'm just waiting for some bigger, ter longer term sell signals. That's from trend trading. Now on the short term, again, going back to the triple Qs, I think there's probably a, a potential short term trade uh, for maybe a percent, percent and a half pullback. Uh, and yeah, the, there'll probably be some buyers there. So we need longer term, bigger picture sell signals to indicate the next leg down, which we do not have. And spy analysis, you can see we're just, same thing on the daily chart. We've just been in this pretty parabolic move, uh, move up there. Uh, no real negative divergence uh, that I see in the short term. If I go back and look at the larger picture, yeah, there is some negative divergence there. But it's not that clean of divergence. Now, we do have the all-time highs just overhead, about 479.50 uh, that we made back in January of 2022. We're, we're, you know, we're continuing to spike into that. 
However, you look at the RSI, we're extremely overbought on the RSI. So we're rallying into a double top with pretty much extremely overbought. So it's used all its energy to get to this double top area and we're not quite there. We could, maybe we'll never reach it, but we're, we're in the area where I would think, given the fact that we've rallied into big resistance and we've, we're extremely overbought, we're probably gonna have that pullback uh, relatively soon. So no sell signals on that. So in general, just my consensus, you know, like what I'm seeing is the market's just kind of floating, you know, there's signs that we're gonna probably have some decent short, short uh, trades here pretty soon. Uh, if you're long, I don't see any reason to exit those longs because uh, there's no sell signals. But if you're not long, I wouldn't want to be putting new money to work. I'd want to be waiting for the next, uh, you know, objective trade. It's not objective to just go long here, okay? You're extremely overbought. You're rallying into major resistance. The MAG7 have negative divergence, uh, and that's the leading. That's the leaders of the market. So you're, uh, it's not objective to go long here. Uh, and I think there's probably going to be a decent pullback coming soon. So we'll just... Uh, We'll wait for those sell signals. Okay, so you know my thoughts on the longer term stuff. The shorter term, obviously, I, I am thinking, you know, if I look at the hourly, you'll see uh, starting to break this trend line just now. Let me kind of clean this chart up. All right, so if this hourly candle can close below this trend line, that would be a short term sell signal, which would likely indicate we're gonna come down to that daily, that daily trend line. All right, that's what I'd be looking for. Uh, if you get the hourly close below that, below this trend line here. So we'll see. I'm going to wrap it up, get the video out, catch you guys on the next one. Bye.